you can probably tell by the, I'm, I'm really frustrated. Uh, and do you know what it is? I haven't ranted and raved for quite a long time. And I'm just watched that literally. I mean, blood is fucking boiling. It is really, really boiling. So the first, the first half, uh, the first 25 minutes, it was all Huddersfield. Newcastle couldn't cope. The communication was all over the place. Uh, and Bemba was playing left back. Richie was playing left wing. We seen Richie move over there later on in the game. And Newcastle had a spell for a good five to ten minutes, and the only really chance that Newcastle had was in this first, in the what the sixteenth minute, when Perez laid it off for Richie. And it was a fantastic save by Lursel. And apart from that, you have to say that nil nil going at half time. Newcastle was slightly fortunate. You know the game was pass pass Moreno by. Where was he in the first half? Communication all over the place from right back to centre backs. Funny enough, you have to say in the first half that chance on Ben, but it's probably Newcastle's first. Newcastle's best uh, defender, sorry, but he can't get up the pitch. He's not natural uh, attacking fullback, you know. We, we kept looking for the ball to try and hit it on the on the right flank to Atsu and Mankiw, and that was the only real threat that Newcastle had. Going into half time, like I said, you're probably fortunate to. Yes, uh, Huddersfield weren't really clear clear cut, but this side lacks massive quality for me, you know. Then the goal comes shortly after half time in the 49th minute. Aaron Moy picks the ball up. And I have to say, Mikel Moreno Mancuri is a fucking all out of the place, man. Why is on following your runners? So he plays a one-two, and it's an absolutely fa fabulous finish. It really is top corner. Elliot kind of didn't know about it. It was a marvelous goal from their point of view. But Mikel Moreno, man, just casually just w lets them run past him. And Mancuri, he's a blame again for another go for another goal. For me, last week against Spurs, he. Couldn't mark his men. The two trackers last week were highlighted on the analyst video. Yes, you can say John Joe Shelby was a foul, but you've got to. It's a fucking simple marking. Basic marking to follow your man and then the go and score. We're seeing Dwight Gale come off shortly after. Probably I was a little bit surprised, I'll be honest with you. Then Hoslow came on. We looked a little bit better going forward. We was having a lot more of the ball. He was more of a focal point. He was feeding off scraps. But for me... Where's plan B? Where is plan B? Because, yes, we've seen Murphy come on later on for Prez. Hayden come off. Diarmi come on and all this. But I have to ask the question. Is this side really good enough from the two performances? Yes, you can say the Spurs one was very spirited. But going forward, we didn't look a massive threat apart from that. Too. And today, it was awful. It was absolutely awful. I mean, we only really had Hoslow a couple of scraps and probably Perez in the second half where from the corner, which... Lossel saves, Prez blasts over and I think it's wrong that people send an abuse on Twitter, I think that's fucking disgraceful, you do not send personal abu abuse to players either, that's fucking bang out of order, if you want to vent frustration, do it on a video like I am, do it in a comments box, do it on Twitter, but didn't send personal hate to players man, bang out of order, we're all frustrated, all, all of us, me, you, everybody else, frustrated, and you've got to, uh, the talk is going to be about transfers again all week, which I'm fucking sick of hearing about now, I'm really, really pissed off, and I've kept it in all summer about this, Mike Ashley needs to fucking go out, give Rafa some fucking money, because this is fucking alarm bells, we haven't, we haven't got a fucking plan B either, so that goes down to Rafa, the players, and Mike Ashley, I'm blaming every single one of you, yeah, where is plan B, Rafa, why aren't you playing two up top for me, there has to be two up top if you, if, Compose yourself, Lee. Compose yourself. For me, I would like to say two up top. I've banged on about it. The 4 2 3 1 formation. Yes, if it works, do it. But please don't just change the personnel. Let's chuck another striker up front. But then Rafa hasn't got the team that he wants. So this is where it comes down to transfers. Mike Ashley, the board, Lee Charney. Let's get. Chuck some fucking money in it. Yes, I know. We understand that. We've got to get the rid of like the likes of Hadara, Hanley, Lazar, Kroll. Get some wages. And I can totally get that. But why can't you put in 20 million? You're going to get your money back straight away off the sky, your money, man. Fuck sake, man. I'm really fucking fed up. Fucking sick, man. I'm probably... I haven't been this way for quite a long time. It's, you know, when you look at it and look at that game, it's like, fucking hell, man. It's it's We've got now gone forward and it's alarm bells and let's let's say some fucking... Mike Ashley, man, are you watching this fucking game? Later on, when I call myself doing, there'll be a review. But sorry if I'm ranting. I know some of you don't like saying it, but I'm just... I'm venting me true, true, honest opinions here. See you later.